Hello students. In this lecture, we continue with the next facilitating functions and it is related with the quality control and labeling. And in this lecture, we see the very important point related with the ag mark. Now, quality control is very, very important uh, in case of marketing. So it is related with customer also, it is related with the process also, it also related with the check and it is also related with the guarantee and satisfaction. So with all the views, we see what is quality control and which are the different types included in quality control or methods included in quality control. To ensure the confidence of consumers, it is essential that grading is done in accordance with the standards that have been set. For this purpose, the inspection of the goods at regular intervals by a third party is essential. Inspection involves the testing of graded goods with a view to determining whether they conform to prescribed standards. So, it ensures quality control. For the purpose of inspection, samples of product are drawn at various stages from the manufacturer, the market middleman, or the consumer at his doorsteps and are tested in the laboratory. So this, these are the points related with the quality control. These inspections are carried out by inspectors appointed by the government and not by producer or a buyer. There were 566 approved grading oblique testing laboratories in the country at the end of March 1984. Their number increased to 633 in 1990 to 91 and further to 700 in 91 to 92. Presently, there are 111 state-owned grading laboratories, 549 laboratories of the licensee, means private packers, nine laboratories in cooperative sector, and 49 private and commercial laboratories with a total of 718 approved grading testing laboratories in the country which are engaged in analysis and determination of AGMARC grades. So this is this information is very important for your objective question. Now we see the quality control in agricultural products. The graded products according to standards fixed by agriculture marketing advisor, government of India, bear the label AGMARC. So, what is the abbreviation of AGMARC? Agriculture marketing. So, underline this point. This is very important point for objective. Abbreviation of AGMARC. It is the quality certification marks under the Central Agriculture Produce, means into bracket Grading and Marketing Act 1937. This label indicates that the purity and the quality of the product on the basis of standards that have been laid down. So the, for this purpose, this particular label is very important. The label of different colors are used to indicate the grade of the product. The Agmark labels are printed on the special quality paper and issued by the agriculture marketing advisor. Now this is also very important point, underline this point. Agmark label is issued, uh, labels are issued by which authority? What is the name of that authority? Agriculture Marketing Advisor. They are serially numbered and the firm is required to maintain the account of the label which are issued to the grader in a register. It is a voluntary scheme. Interested traders and manufacturers are given license to grade their product under Agmark quality certification. Mark. Agmark label is attached to container of the product in such a way that it is not possible to remove the content of the package with, without tampering the Agmark label. Each Agmark package bears the date of the packing and date of expiry of the 
product. Agmark products are pre-tested and certified for the quality. Agmark products are of assured quality and different from adulterated and superior goods. Spurious goods. Spurious means uh, in that uh, sometimes certain uh, problem is there. So such type of good we can say spurious goods. If in any Agmark product purchased by the consumer is found to be defective, the consumer get the product replaced or get the money back as per the procedure laid down. There are about 14,000 licenses manufacturing the mark and marketing their products under Agmark quality certification marks. So this is the uh, picture of Agmark. Okay, uh, and uh, I show in this particular uh, slide two pictures. One product is about ghee, and one product is about uh, powder. Okay, so this this is the uh, picture related with the Agmark label. Now we see in case of manufactured products are graded in accordance with the standard laid down by Indian Standard Institution. Now Bureau of Indian Standards and bear the ISI label. So uh, see here, there is difference between Agmark label and ISI label. For manufactured products, which label is uh, issued and who issued that point? Indian Standard Institution, Bureau of Indian Standards. Okay, so this is the label. Manufacturers have to use proper ingredients in specified portion proportions and follow the technique of manufacture given in the standards laid down by the Indian Standard Institution. The ISI label is an indicator of good quality of the product. Now I show here in this picture the label of ISI and one product salt in that uh, product also ISI label with the number is given. So this is uh, most important for uh, identifying the quality product or assured product. Quality management in food. Now in case of food, HACAP, Indian manufacturers need to upgrade the quality of the product by adopting HACAP. HACAP means what is the long form hazard analysis and critical control point. A food safety system, which is an internationally recognized auditing method. HACAP focus on chemical, physical, and microbial hazards. Okay, what is the important focus of HACAP? Which are the different <coughs> sorry, chemical, physical, and microbial hazards? HACAP and risk analysis is a modern concept of quality management applied to food items. The concept of HACAP gained recognition and acceptance globally as a system of choice for good safety due to following reasons. To identify food safety hazards for different farm products and their process of production. To accept responsibility of food safety instead of relying upon com compliance with official regulation and inspection by food safety inspectors, necessity of creating awareness among people to realize their role and responsibility for food safety, to improve the design of food products and process for achieving safe food, and to prepare food companies for future HACAP based food safety regulations and trade specification. So these are the very important. Uh, systems develop under concept of HACAP. Now, international food safety standards are developed by the Codex Alimentarius Commission. This is a joint commission of FAO and WHO, okay, Food Agriculture Order and World Health Organization and recognize HACAP based system for food. As per the WTO requirement, only codex standards are acceptable for international trade. For international trade, which standards are acceptable? Codex standards. Therefore, codex HACAP 
is minimum international standard for trade among countries in future. Based on this analysis, appropriate action can be taken to ensure that the areas identified as critical control points are kept under control and are not allowed to endanger the items produced. So this is all regarding different quality control systems run internationally and in our India. So go on reading uh, very carefully about this concept and understand about the different label and quality control measures adopted for different products. Thank you.